Most people don't consider their limbs to be a luxury, and few ever think about what their lives would be like without the ease of a working knee or foot. But those who undergo amputation find they must adjust to the life-altering consequences of their condition, and they often face significant challenges in their day-to-day -day lives. In the United States, there are over 500 amputations performed every day. In fact, that there's approximately 2 million people living with limb loss in the United States, and that number is expected to double by the year 2050. 45% of amputees living in the United States lost their limb due to trauma. Of those, three quarters are under the age of 45. These are the people who are veterans, parents, and children who want to work, they want to live active lifestyles. The National Limb Loss Information Center estimates that one out of every 200 people has had an amputation, and 1.7 million in the U.S. are living with limb loss today. The leading causes of amputation in the United States are associated with aging, circulatory conditions, and chronic health conditions, such as diabetes and obesity. If we talk about diabetes, there's currently 150 million people living with diabetes worldwide. That number is expected to climb to 250 million. Those are some really scary numbers. An amputee's use of prostheses, or artificial limbs, can assist with their mobility and enable them to more actively participate in their activities of daily living. But without the proper prosthetic device, an amputee can still experience significant limitations. When I first received my prosthetic, I was able to walk and get around, and I assumed that everything was well. I figured I was an amputee, so I kind of accepted all of the aches and pains and the obstacles as just par for the course. I was missing a leg. But I had a prosthetic and I was able to walk, so I was happy. What I didn't realize is how much I was settling for. Other than giving birth to my little boy, the proprio foot's the best thing that's happened in my life since becoming an amputee. I started exercising more, I started walking more, and as I started walking more, I gained more confidence, which made me want to try more. Instead of, I don't know if I can do this because I'm an amputee, my attitude has changed to, I'm going to do this and prove that an amputee can do it. I've lost 125 pounds so far, and I have become the mom that I always wanted to be. Peggy's proprio foot was made by Oser, a global leader in innovative prosthetic and orthopedic technologies. The company, founded in the 1970s by a prosthetist who was exploring better options for improving products for amputees, is now showing the world how technological innovation can enable amputees to restore lost mobility and enjoy lives without limitations. The current theory is that amputees, whether they lost their limb due to trauma or to diabetes, is that they can reduce the stresses to the sound limb then they're going to be able to live a more fruitful life because they're not going to put themselves at risk of reamputation, arthritis, and possibly low back pain. The beneficial impact of OSER's technologies extend far beyond regained mobility and include improving amputees' physical fitness and emotional health, as well as delivering economic savings associated with fewer medications and hospitalizations. So OSER uh, set course many years ago to try and replace lost function for amputees and uh, in the beginning it was a pretty standard process. We could replace parts of the, the lost system, namely the, the skeleton. We could support weight through the prosthesis. Uh, as time has gone on we've discovered that there's a lot of other possibilities. Um, the, the inspiration for that obviously comes from the human body and, and as technology advances we can get closer and closer to the, the final result which is fully replacing the human, uh, human limbs that, uh, that have been lost. So, so really we've, we've got to a point now where we have uh, different parts of uh, computing systems, motorized uh, drives that can really uh, start to replace a lot more of the function. Motion-based powered prosthetic devices, something people once only dreamed of, are a reality and demonstrably improving people's lives today. Breakthroughs like Oser's bionic technologies represent an unmatched marriage of man and machine. So a, a prosthesis up to date or up to the introduction of Power Knee has had no motorized component to it. And so that uh, I sometimes equate to, uh, to a bicycle where the user can get there but they're having to pedal. Every bit of the motion is, is driven f from their own, uh, their own generation. Um, when you look at Power Knee, there's a motor on board and a user who's trained to use that device 
will essentially use the motor to help propel them. Uh, as they do that, they're obviously reducing a lot of the, uh, the fatigue that would be associated with getting to, from point A to point B. Compared to other prosthetic technologies, Oser's power knee utilizes a built-in motor, making it the only prosthetic knee that can actively help users rise to their feet, climb stairs, and help with their stamina, such as significantly extending how far they can walk. With the physical demands of my work, the um, Oser power knee has helped me in being able to get up and down in an assist, taking a lot of stress off of my shoulders, and it also helps me in my everyday walking, uh, walking up and down, uh, getting the clients, bringing the clients back, going to different departments. Um, it helps conserve energy. The Power Knee's unique design is intended to enhance users' balance and stability and to relieve the pain, fatigue, and longer-term injuries that often occur when an amputee favors, overcompensates, or over-relies on other sound body parts for mobility. It also enables users to travel ramps, inclines, and stairs in a more conventional leg-over-leg -leg fashion. The Power Knees motor allows you to really negotiate obstacles and inclines much more easily than any other device. Um, so walking through deep snow as I did this winter in the Northeast, 10 inches of snow, the knee actually powers through that obstacle. Similarly, walking on sand, um, if you're on a beach, the knee powers through the sand and allows you to walk in a normal way. Um, going up hills, the motor actually actively pushes you up the hill, which you can't do in any other device. Even after 40 years of pioneering breakthroughs, OSER is continuing to innovate prosthetic technologies today, driven by its mission to enable more lower limb amputees to remain physically active and enjoy the many benefits associated with restored mobility. Next on the horizon, Symbionic, OSER's integrated bionic leg, the world's first prosthesis to combine two bionic devices, OSER's Rio knee and proprio foot into a single integrated bionic leg. The new integrated bionic leg is, uh, is based on two technologies that OSER has been in the market with for, for quite a while, and that is the, the Rio knee, which is a, uh, a knee mechanism that uses magnetic fluids to control knee position. Uh, and an ankle joint that has a motor to move the ankle to, to a desired position. So we've integrated those both together. Uh, both the parts now commonly use the same battery and they're programmed in synchronization so that when the knee moves or when the knee allows movement, the ankle will move in synchronization with that. The company expects that amputees in the U.S. will be able to receive the new integrated prosthesis beginning in late 2011. For more information, please visit www.oser.com.